Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the next session of fluid mechanics and in this session we will discuss the numerical problems on capillarity and surface tension. So these are the three numerical problems that we will discuss one by one. So the first numerical problem is the sap in the tree is carried to a height of 15 meters. We have to estimate the diameter of the capillary tube in a tree and we will assume that the sap has the same characteristics as that of the water. And the surface tension between the air and the water is 0 0.0735 Newton per meter. So based upon this, uh, we have the given diameter that h height is given to us. That is your 15 meters. And surface tension is also given to us. So the contact angle is not given to us. And we can assume that the contact angle between the surface and the water is 0 degrees. So we will assume this contact, contact angle over here. So what we have to find out, we have to find out the diameter of the capillary tube. So uh, the simple formula uh, regarding the diameter of the capillary tube is given by uh, this relation d is equals to 4 sigma cos of phi divided by w into h that is your w is your specific weight and uh, that w is equals to specific weight can be written as rho multiplied by your density uh, density multiplied by your acceleration due to gravity so density of water is simply you know it is a uh, thousand so a thousand when this thousand will be you know multiplied by your uh, acceleration due to gravity and it will give you it will give you 9810 over here okay so uh, 4 as it is sigma the surface tension cos of phi that is cos 0 and h your height that is 15 15 meters so upon uh, calculation what we will get we will get that the, the diameter of the capillary tube uh, which will be used uh, in that tree or which is in the tree is 2 into 10 raised to the minus 3 mm so this is basically a very basic or simple problem based upon the capillary action. So the next problem that we will discuss is In the next problem uh, a YouTube manometer is there which is filled with a liquid which is having some surface tension that is 0 0.073 Newton per meter and is used to calculate the pressure difference. Certainly a uh, manometer is always used to uh, calculate the pressure difference uh, that we will talk about and we will study these manometers in the coming chapter that is your chapter 2. So in that case uh, the diameter of the two limbs of the YouTube manometer is 2 mm and 4 mm respectively. The observed difference in the level of the liquid in the two limbs is 2 cm and we have to find out the specific weight of the liquid that is your w if it makes an angle of 0 degrees or 0 degree contact angle so first of all let us suppose a youtube manometer will be likewise this although we will study these manometers in detail in your next chapter so this is your youtube manometer which is used to measure the pressure difference these will be connected to uh, two points one and two so the diameter of this tube, one tube is 2 mm and the other tube is 4 mm. So we have 2 over here and we have 4 diameter over here. Okay. So uh, the observed difference in the level of the liquid in the two limbs. Since uh, is, it is used to measure the difference in pressure, suppose uh, in one limb the level of the liquid is this and in other limb the level of the liquid is this so this difference basically this difference that uh, we are talking about we are talking about this difference basically is your 2 centimeters as per the given question 
so what we have to do as uh, it is given we have to find out the specific weight so these are basically uh, the given uh, given values which we have 2 mm d2 is 4 mm and h1 minus h2 suppose uh, we can take a reference level over here that is your x and that is your y so this level can be treated as your h1 uh, we'll dis discuss these in detail in the coming chapter so this can be treated as your h2 so h1 minus h2 will be equal to this 2 centimeters so we have uh, written like with this and uh, after converting it, it into si units we, we can write it as 0 0.02 meters surface tension is given to us and this contact angle over here is also uh, uh, zero degrees so specific weight we have to find out in that case so again we will use the formula of capillary action uh, h1 if we will use and it can be given by that same formula which we have used in the previous numerical that is 4 sigma cos of phi divided by specific weight by d1 and h2 similarly will use the subscript 2 over here in the second case so as per the given condition, the difference is given to us, difference in the liquid levels, H1 minus H2 is given to us. So H1 minus H2 we can write from this equation also. It will be 4 sigma cos phi by W, that is your specific weight, 1 by D1 minus 1 by D2 in brackets. So we'll put these values over here, surface tension value over here, H1 minus H2 is 0 0.02 meters. Uh, cos phi is your cos 0 and cos 0 is certainly equals to 1 and uh, d1 is given to you in SI units d1 can be written as 0 0.02 meters and d2 can be written as 0 0.04 meters so these are the values which, which are given to us so from this we will find w that is your specific weight so specific weight is given by 3650 Newton per meter cube so if we have to find out uh, this is your specific weight which is uh, to be calculated over here suppose if we have to find out the density in this case also so we can again use this W is equals to rho g formula and we can put the value of uh, your acceleration due to gravity that is 9.81 and rho is there okay uh, you have the specific weight 3650 so we can find out the density of the fluid from this equation also if it is it would have been asked in the question so we can find out the density by using this equation also the density of the fluid which is basically being used in the manometer to measure the difference in the pressure level so uh, this is another problem which is basically on your capillary uh, action so we will now discuss the third problem that will be on uh, the surface tension So in this problem, uh, the surf the pressure inside a water drop is given to us. It is 0 0.03 kilopascal, which is more than that of the ambient pressure. So pressure inside the drop is more than the ambient pressure by 0 0.03 kilopascals. So if the diameter of the drop is 1 mm, suppose the diameter of the drop is 1 mm, then we have to calculate the surface tension of the drop in the first case secondly if the drop splits up into the air into your 125 smaller drops of equal size so we have to find out the work which is required to be done in splitting of that drop because since the work will be done because uh, when the drop will sp split so what will happen there will be uh, an increase in the surface area new surfaces will be formed so when the surfaces will be formed certainly some work will be done and what will be that work which is required to be done or which will be done during your uh, splitting up of a 
big drop into the smaller 125 number of drops so we have to find out that thing in your second case the first case is uh, given data as it is given to you pi minus po we can write this 0.03 kpa or simply we can uh, convert it into uh, simple units that it can be your 300 pascals and the di diameter is 1 mm and it can be certainly uh, written like with 0. Point your 0. 0. 001 uh, meter because we have to ultimately we have to use the SI units over here so first we have to find out the surface tension secondly we have to find out the work done in that case so the first case is quite simple over here uh, we have to use the uh, condition of equilibrium over here we will we have taken a drop which is uh, you know divided into two halves so the surface tension force the basic principle uh, will be is equals to the pressure which is being developed over on developed on the surface so the pressure is given by your p i minus p naught multiplied by pi by 4 into d square so the pressure which is being applied over here so that will be is equals to the surface tension uh, which we have taken into consideration so pi sigma is your surface tension pi d is your circumference of this bubble so bubble uh, sorry it's so a liquid droplet not so bubble so uh, liquid droplet so uh, pi minus p naught uh, we have put the value as 300 pi by 4 and it is multiplied by 0.001 square uh, then we will put the other values on the other side so what we will get is the surface tension is 0 0.075 newton meter so uh, the first case is quite simple uh, the basic principle of uh, surface uh, tension is used over here again uh, coming towards the second part of uh, the question in that as you know we have a uh, number of drops which will be divided so suppose we have a big drop over here like was this it will be divided into smaller number of 125 uh, drops so it means that uh, there will certainly be an increase in the area and that area we have to find out what will be that increase in that area so that area uh, we have to calculate first of all and that uh, will be used to calculate the work which is required to be done in order to split or in order to produce these 125 number of drops so moving on to the second case in that case uh, as i have told you uh, the drop splits up into 125 smaller drops so in that case the volume will remain constant so the volume of your smaller drop and drop is certainly in the spherical shape so the volume will be given certainly given by this formula so volume of the smaller drop multiplied by 125 because there are 125 number of smaller drops will be equals to the volume of the large drop so the caption capital D, D is used uh, to indicate your large drop and small d is used to your small drop so small d means smaller drop and uh, capital D means larger drop so uh, upon using this equation we can uh, find out the diameter of the smaller drop that is will be D by 5 and certainly it will be equals to 0.002 meters so we have to find out uh, the surface area of both the drops because ultimately what is required what is important the important thing is we have to find out the change in change in area so change in area in order to find out that we have to first of we have to calculate the area of the larger drop and then we have to find out the area of the smaller drop so surface area of the larger drop is your 4 pi r square and you know by putting these values what is the whatever the radius of your larger drop uh, that radius we will put over here and what we will get we will get uh, the value as pi multiplied by 10 raised to minus 6 meter squares so this will be the area of your larger drop so uh, the surface area of the smaller drop in a similar way in that case small r will be used and again it is 0 0.04 pi into 10 raised to minus 6 meter square so but 
the number of drops small drops are more that means this number of drops are 125 so the total surface area of your 125 drops will be given by uh, this equation and uh, you know this area will be multiplied by 125 and certainly it will be 5 pi multiplied by 10 raised to the minus 6 meter squares so the change in the surface area is given by this surface area minus the original surface area so 5 pi multiplied by 10 raised to the minus 6 will be subtracted uh, and we will get this value the change in surface area will be 4 pi into 10 raised to the minus 6 meter square so the basic formula to calculate the work done that is equals to the work done will be given by the surface tension multiplied by the change in the surface area as per your basic equation or basic definition of the surface tension so the work done will be is equals to surface tension multiplied by your change in surface area it is a multiplication sign it's change in surface area so 0 0.073 multiplied by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 6 will give you 0 0.916 into 10 raised to minus 6 joule because this work uh, this is the work which is required to be done so its unit will be in joules so uh, this is basically a, a very good problem on your surface tension so this is the third uh, problem that we have discussed over here so uh, these are these were the problems which were related to your capillary and uh, surface tension so uh, before we close this um, video uh, I would like to summarize the chapter one quickly. I would like to summarize the chapter one basics of the fluid mechanics and different flow properties we discussed, application areas of the fluid mechanics we discussed, different types of flows we discussed, compressibility and bulk modulus, concept of quaternum, Newton's law of viscosity, Newtonian and non Newtonian fluids, viscosity, uh, surface tension and capillarity, and finally the problems on Newton's law of viscosity, capillarity, and surface tension. So, with this, your chapter number one is complete and uh, certainly I will be submitting some uh, tutorial sheets to you giving them giving some tutorial sheets to you uh, based upon some more numericals on uh, Newton's law of viscosity and capillarity and your surface tension so these were the books as I've told you in the previous videos also which will refer so I thank you once again and uh, with this I uh, I would like to submit that uh, the chapter 1 is uh, uh, complete in all the respects. So, we will uh, discuss uh, the chapter 2 that is your fluid statics in the coming classes. Thank you and have a nice day.